24 weeks into pregnancy, a baby measures 30 centimetres, the size of a standard ruler. If all goes well, the baby continues to grow for another 13 weeks and reaches around 50 centimetres before joining us in the world. Unfortunately, things don't always go well. Babies are born ruler-sized and spend their first weeks in intensive care. During this time, blood pressure is one of the most important things that healthcare staff can monitor. In a tiny baby, they can't use one of those inflatable cuffs that they use on us in the doctor's office. Instead, they have to insert a catheter into their umbilical artery using a one millimetre thick needle. This sounds tiny, but given the size of these babies, it's the equivalent of shoving a pencil-sized needle into your stomach. It's incredibly invasive and introduces a high risk of infection in an already vulnerable child. And after 10 days, the risk is so high that they have to remove the catheter and repeat the process in another location. But what if we could avoid this and measure blood pressure without the risk? Well, that's what my project aims to do. I'm building a device that uses non-invasive light sensors to measure blood pressure from the wrist. I've taken an engineer's approach to a medical problem. Blood in an artery is just like liquid in a pipe. We've known how to measure pressure in a pipe for years by taking measurements at two points. So why not do the same thing for pressure in an artery? So firstly, I developed machine learning algorithm using thousands of hospital patient records where heart activity was measured at the chest and pulse activity was measured at the wrist. Despite the complex plumbing between these two points, I developed an algorithm that uses just five seconds of data to accurately measure blood pressure. It's outperforming many of the devices we see in the doctor's office today. While I was doing this, I also noticed some strange fluctuations in heart and pulse activity. Soon I worked out that these are caused by breathing. That's right, the way that you breathe affects how your heart beats. So I built another machine learning algorithm that uses these fluctuations to calculate breathing rate, and it has near perfect accuracy. So now I can non-invasively measure blood pressure and breathing rate. The next step is to move away from chest-based measurements and instead take multiple measurements on the wrist using light sensors like those in your Fitbit. We're about to start testing this in healthy volunteers and then we'll be moving into clinical trials. When the final device is ready, we'll be helping a lot of babies through the riskiest period of their lives. But it's not just them we'll help. Doctors will be able to remotely monitor the farmer working in extreme heats out west. Grandma's wristwatch will be able to call an ambulance automatically if it detects that she's having heart problems. And with each device expected to cost well under $100, we'll be able to provide affordable health care to countries in poverty. All with a few light sensors, I truly believe that we can change the world. Thank you.